And next on the agenda is the series of incidents involving unusual behavior in public. Hmm. First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. As you're all aware, he had some sort of episode during a diet session Q&A and abruptly confessed to document tampering. Hmm. Soon after that, three Sapporo Central Councilmen confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his book's awards, and deeming his body of work garbage. Then, a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her, and got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> Mm. Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, <laughs> no. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts. But, time and again, 
every instance involves a sudden change in personality. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. Aren't these just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. I want silence! Proceed with the report. Thank you, Commissioner Kabaragi. As you've realized, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thieves. What? Hmm. What evidence is there? No one's even established a pattern. And we don't have any sort of motive. So far, doing it for kicks is the only thing that'd explain it. You will investigate each of these incidents yourselves, as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One, to assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher-ups are hell-bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. <sighs> so, the Phantom Thieves rise again. It's been a while since we rode this to Yonginjaya, huh? there. We haven't seen everyone in so long. I know it's stupid, but I'm getting kind of nervous. Yeah, when the Phantom Thieves come together, it's never anything less. Oh, we finally made it. Sure, what? <laughs> we missed ya. It's been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. Mm. Meow. <laughs> it's gotten hot, huh? Hey, you guys hungry? You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greeting. <laughs> we hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. We figured the best way to get you was to have Boss let us in early. Well, you're looking sharp. I hear you. Even though it's only been a couple of months, 
feels like it's been a real long while. Yeah, I'm sure you all have plenty of catching up to do. But I gotta open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. Deal. Now thieves, to the hideout. Great. Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. My finals in one day, too. I'm really freaking out. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I win. I only flunked one final. You two are the same as always. Can't you at least take your classes a bit more seriously? Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Jeez. Will you please forget about that already? So is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Oh, -ho! yielded any results yet? Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program though? Yes. But students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Gah. That'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. And you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Too easy. At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and PE. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Praise me more. Keep it coming. Well, how about you then? You're the one we're most curious about. You doing okay back home? Well, that's a relief. Even though you seem like you'd be fine no matter where you ended up. Well, I've been getting by too, but without you around, it's sort of like stuff is just kind of bleh. Of course. He's our leader. It's only natural. That's right. Once a phantom thief, always a phantom thief. Well, let's say we start coming up with summer vacation plans. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, right! We should figure that stuff out! You're fine to stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage! Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Blah. <laughs> Not only do you have homework, but your third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. Yeah, no, stop. Don't bring that up. Not now, please. <laughs> Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple and shrine. Oh, the sheer wealth of beauty I can witness in a whole month. I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. A trip does sound nice, but what if we all went camping first? We can all go hiking and stuff during the day, and even throw together a barbecue at night. B -b barbecue Aren't those always the big gatherings for people who socialize IRL? <laughs> Sounds fun! You can leave the firewood chopping to me. Kicking summer off right with a barbecue buffet. Sounds badass to me. <laughs> How about you? Look for decent marbling in the cuts. That's how you get the real good stuff. Trust me on this. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea, but we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. Choosing food over art? You sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right, our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. We're going camping. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have come 
compiled a list of items recommended for camping. Here was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Cut. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? Oh, yeah! It's got this, uh, eye that thinks for it. I think you mean AI, not an eye. Right. It stands for artificial intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. Shut up! That sounds kind of cool, though. <gasps> I bet it'd tell us where all the best ramen shops are. Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. I suppose it'd at least be handy if we ran into any trouble while camping. That's a good idea. Why don't you get it, too? Hello, this is Emma. I am pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name. Thank you. Again, I am Emma, your helpful virtual assistant. Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them off. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale, either. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy! Uh, AI, not an eye. Well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet this guy's beat from the traveling, too. We just went through all the effort to meet up at the hideout, yeah? So let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. Yeah, anything but that. Treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. 
Plus, with this guy hanging around again, it'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back. Well, see you tomorrow. You know, it was nice talking after so long. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. See you then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either, okay? I'll just add this. 